We're alive. I think there's a woodpecker around and he woke us up. You look amazing. Did you survive the night? Yeah. Only two layers? Yeah. What? Sleeping mat and the sleeping bag is good. So for you it wasn't cold, you were okay. Yeah. yeah. It was good. Okay, okay. It was like the board on the border for me. I it was him. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just about okay, like we survived. Oh my god. I have like about six or seven layers, so I just wear a lot of clothes. <laughs> this is the fashion week. <laughs> like Ollie's talking about the heat and, and they are like you seem cold guys. <laughs> <laughs> this one, Balenciaga. Oh, wow. In which country did you get this? She got given that in Siberia, Yeah, right? I actually did. She gave yeah. me like a, a roll of plastic bags and she said like, here, have it for the heavy rain. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she can't do Second. it. <laughs> Cut. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Good morning, Bumblebee. We're here next to the crazy Papingo hairpin road in Greece with Vincent Natta. Hey, guys. Good morning. Otherwise known as Take Me Everywhere. And we're enjoying the morning sun, which has just come up over the mountains and it's starting to warm us up after like a pretty cold night. But really cool because Bumblebee made a new friend. Check out Falco. <laughs> Ta -da! That's a reveal. <laughs> That's our luck dragon, our lucky dragon from the never ending story movie. Okay, so Falco from the never ending story with these cool pink eyelids. Yes, he's really happy to have a new friend. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Often that he got a, like a beautiful yellow bumblebee <laughs> Tell us about Falcor. So it's a GS800 from 2014 and uh, we've been on the road for two years and a half now and uh, so far so good. That is absolutely crazy. That's a good luck dragon, our furry friends. So far where have you been on Falcor? Uh, so Greece now it's the 28th country so we've been a lot in Europe, a bit in Africa and now we are heading to India. We are on our way but slowly slowly. <laughs> Look at this amazing artwork they have done here. You guys did this yourself? Yes! They yeah, did. yeah, you know, it's like the painting that you use for the for the glass, you know, like uh, the oh, windows. Yeah, you okay. Know, you like this. Okay, you took it off and then you did it on the inside. Yeah, exactly. And this, we found it on the street somewhere, like... Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. It was made for it, so then Natalia painted a bit. In case we lost it, he's got another glasses there, you know. Ah, okay, okay. okay. It was there like on the street. That has to be fate, right? Yeah, it was. That has to be fate. This is one mascot. Praying uh, flags. So. Om Mani Padmi Hum. Wilder and wilder as uh, as the year passed. So yeah. let's see how, how we will finish this. <laughs> and what gear do you have in it? What bags? It's a French brand called Zulu Pack. And they made like, um, yeah, duffel bags and stuff like yeah. that. The bikes sometimes stay on the rain for weeks and days. And it was always like very good. So the Panniers, it's a Romanian brand, Heavy Duties. It's a really cool like family business. So we went also to visit them and oh. they host us for some day in their place. Oh, that's so that's nice. Good. And you've fallen a few, quite a few times with these panniers on. Yeah. They haven't broken you yet. have a system where you just fix it like this, you know, like you yep. just fix it in that way. So if it falls, every time we fall, the panniers are just getting out. Okay. And every time it protects our legs. Yep. So I know that there is a lot of uh, pros and cons for the, the hard panniers or soft panniers. Yep, yep. But so far, every time it was like a good thing to have them. It's still good. They're still, the, the structure is there. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, wow, what a bike. We got some really cool stickers. Look at the stickers. Those are amazing. <laughs> How cool, hey? And with this one, you can even scan it. I mean, this is like high-tech next level. And it takes them through to the Instagram. The Instagram, yeah. Okay. So guys, try and scan your screens right now. No, I'll put the link in the description. <laughs> okay, let's find a nice place. It's already quite full. We have to make space. So I thought maybe here. Okay. Look. We have found just enough space. It's you guys can join the windshield of fame. Like good timing, yeah. yeah. Wow, we are so lucky to be on your bike, guys. <laughs> 
Oh. How cute! No, I can't believe just under Colombia. I'm also Colombian, so I'm really happy it's there. It's the perfect spot. you. <laughs> That's beautiful. We will take you back to England. Thank you, guys. It's beautiful. <laughs> it was a beautiful night last night. We had the campfire going and we were sitting out until I think something like 11 o'clock. But today we have to say goodbye to these guys because we have another border to cross. So let me show you guys where we're heading. So we are here and today we are taking this road to cross over the border into Albania. There we'll be heading to a town called Vlora where we're looking to take a ferry to cross the Adriatic Sea to Brindisi, Italy. So it's about 45 minutes to the border, but we still have to pack up everything. It's already 10.45, so better hit the road, let's go. It's weird, I didn't leave it on. Maybe the battery's broken. Uh, oh yeah, no, no Bumblebee. We no so we got a bit of an issue this morning. It's super weird because we weren't like charging anything, but the battery is completely dead. Oh. Yeah, we're not getting anything from that. But luckily, Vince and Nata have possibly a solution with a power bank yeah it's for a cars or cars. motorbike but, okay uh, we didn't charge it for a long time so okay see, uh, we can pray it's gonna work yeah, it's someone minutes. wants some snacks during this uh, uh, like a pose. surgery <laughs> a bumblebee surgery the bumblebee yeah. surgery yeah. very bad in mechanics i put like a little reminder oh. the red cable on the battery the black cable on the battery and then remove the black then the red Okay, it doesn't help that we have the worst Allen keys in the entire world. We bought it from a petrol station. Mm -hmm. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Do you have some Allen, Allen keys? Yeah, I think so. Hopefully, Falcor has everything. We lost the SD card already inside as well. Uh, yeah. SD card? Okay. Hey! Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. The red goes. The red goes to the red. Crocodile. Yeah, must be better. Don't know. Maybe, yeah. Finger crossed. Okay, let's see. Should, Should I try? Yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, shit. Okay. Nothing? Nothing at the moment. I think maybe, yes, just not enough power, maybe. But can't we do like from their bike to our bike? If your engine is running, it would work. Um, how easy is it to access the battery terminals? Two minutes. Okay. Okay, so we've got it connected up here, our jump leads. Lavi's gonna touch them to the terminals over there on Falcor and then we're gonna try and start Bumblebee. Okay. Black then the red. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think it's starting. Wait. Keep them held on. Keep yeah, them. What? Yeah. Just turn them a bit. yeah, touch them on and I'll let it charge for a second. Come on. I think it's gonna work. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, rev now. Yeah. Yes, nice. Awesome. A few moments later. So, what happened? I don't know. It was super strange because it was on and running, and then the engine stopped again, and now we can't get it started. So, so let's push to the road. Yeah. We're now going to push it over to the road and see if we can find a car to jumpstart us. Not good. Not good. Because we have a ferry booked for tonight. So we have to cross a border and then enter a ferry. Just par terre, Three, two, one. <sighs> Hello. What happened? Oh, battery is dead. Yeah. Okay, so we found a car and they're coming over now. Let's see if we can get a jump started. Maybe a little, a little bit more. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you very much. No problem. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. The metal part inside there. You want there. me to hold it? Are you okay? Just here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. You connected? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we'll go the same way for a little bit, hey? We'll just ride behind you then, and then we'll just go off when uh, when it's different, yeah? Okay. It was really short, but I'm glad that we could at least have like one evening, you know? Yeah, it was so nice. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Yoo! Finally hitting the road. <laughs> what time is it? I think it's one o'clock. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh my god, I love this guy so much. Look how cool they look. Yeah, look at that setup. Wow, they look like real champions. They, they do, they look totally badass. Yeah, I mean, they are badass. They are on their way out of Europe and we are on our way back in. <laughs> yeah. It was so cool, then we could camp together. I feel like they are my soulmates, you know? We just talked and talked and talked and talked up until like 11 p.m. around the fire. Yeah, it was so nice, guys, really, yeah. so, so nice. Yeah, so we wish you all the best and the best trip and the best experiences in the world. But guys, can we just admire as well these surroundings here? Yeah, it's absolutely a crazy landscape around here. What so, a nice place to meet up with these guys. So crazy, man. Yeah, Greece has been a really, really amazing surprise. But we've got a ferry to catch because tonight at 11.30 p.m. we're going to be heading on a ferry from Albania to Italy. So that's why we're not really too much in a rush because we have literally the whole day to get to Vlora where the ferry is going to leave from. So now that Bumblebee has actually started, I think we'll be all right to make it. But look at this beautiful little stone village in the mountains, Aristi. It's so picturesque here. Forty three thousand nine hundred and ninety nine point nine. We just hit forty four thousand miles on the road. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this is our way. Yes! And this is your way. Oh. Bye guys. It was amazing to meet yeah. you. We will see you, yeah? Have a nice trip. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's too heavy. Okay, push, push, push. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, perfect. See you guys. <laughs> Bye bye. Until next time, <laughs> keep being awesome. Okay, we're already here at the border. That was quick. Let's see if it's an easy one yeah. or a hard one. Yeah. What is this EU? Uh, it's like cars and buses. Okay. Maybe I will get out the folder. Yeah. I'm going to leave the engine running for a bit. Yeah, 
So there's only like one van ahead of us, so it should be super, super quick. Yeah. Okay. Thank you! Have a good day. Bye. All right, cool. So that part was really easy so far. That was really, really easy. So now, please let us in Albania! Okay. Okay, oh. cool. Yeah, yeah, we have to wait a little bit longer, apparently. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll just turn the engine off here. Yeah. Um, and I think, hopefully, we've run it for long enough. Oh, yeah. We did 26 miles. Hopefully, that's long enough that it will turn back on. 20 minutes later. Okay. Is Bumblebee going to start? Is Bumblebee going to start? Oh. Yes. Luckily, no problem. Really good news. I like and, it. Uh, yeah. How easy was that border as well? I think we're in. Yeah. Country number 33 on our trip around the world. <laughs> Yo! Welcome to Albania. And you know what? Mm -hmm. Let's get some cheap Albanian fuel. I'm in. I actually don't know how cheap it is, but it's got to be cheaper than Greece. <laughs> I think every country is cheaper than Greece. Yeah. Super. Oh, regular. Regular, unleaded. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So it's actually not cheaper here. We just checked and it's 197 lek, Albanian lek, for a litre, which is one pound 61. So it's basically the same as Greece, if not even a little bit more expensive. So that tank cost us like 25 pounds, I think. Anyway, therefore we will save some money on our lunch today because we have still some pastas from yesterday which is nice and some really nice little bread so yeah it's time to eat i'm really hungry Welcome to Vlore. So we've arrived here at the place where we're going to be taking the ferry over to Italy and the port is just a mile up ahead. It's currently four o'clock so our ferry doesn't leave for like another seven, eight hours. So we have a little wait. Normally it's five o'clock but we changed time zone so it's four o'clock which is pretty cool. Yeah so now we're in the same time zone as the rest of Europe. Same time zone as Germany, Netherlands, France. And that means we have just one more time zone to cross back to England. Can you believe it, hey? I know, it's absolutely crazy. I just get like this really, really nice feeling in my belly. To be back on Greenwich Mean Time. <laughs> I know what you mean, good old Greenwich Mean Time. But yeah, I'm actually pretty tired. Yeah, me too. I mean, it was a late night last night. Staying up late chatting, definitely feeling it now, this afternoon. Yeah. I think we might have to like, go to the ferry port, get the tickets all printed out and all sorted, yeah. and then find a place to have a nap. So the port is supposed to be somewhere here, but uh, it says I'm supposed to ride right there and I can't do oh, that. Oh, okay. Here's the seafront area. Okay. Hey, our first views of the Adriatic, but I don't see like a port anywhere. No, I don't see a sign as well. I think there, because look, you can see the ferry. Here's a ferry. I think we have to go like round embarkation office ah i think we probably have to go to our ferry company's yeah. office which is going to be one of these buildings here okay and then the port itself is right here look okay this is the entrance okay is this our ticket Ta -da! Yeah! So, so this is your boarding pass for mail this is my boarding pass 
And, and what, this what's one Bumblebee? Is a prince. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we got our tickets. Basically, we have to come back to here at like uh, 8.30 tonight and then we can start boarding and then the boat is leaving about 11.30. Sounds good. Yeah, so, but we can already go to our cabin like three hours earlier, which is which is nice <laughs> because we booked, they have like two bed cabins. So for the same price, we could book two beds and we get the whole cabin to ourselves. So private room, baby. Private room. So it looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward here in Vlore. So we're just going to find somewhere now to chill for a few hours. One nap later. All right, it is half past eight and we're back at the port and hopefully we can get on our ferry. Hello, hi. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. So just to the right, yes? The truck, yeah. Okay. You see, Thank you. All right. Hopefully we can already go on. Let's see. Hello. This way. Yep. Okay. Should I just keep going around? It's okay. Okay. Thank. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, document, license of vehicle, okay. Ticket. Yep. So tickets. Document and license of uh, the motor. Okay. Here are passports. Yes. And uh, this is the document for the motorcycle. Yes. So that was really easy. And there is our ferry ahead. It's just here. Cool. Nice. Yes. Oh man, if we can go to our cabin like now, that would be so cool. Ah, hello. Ah, okay. Hello. Good evening. Thank you. This side, okay. Straight ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. Thank you. Oh, careful. Careful, everyone. Five, okay. Five, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. said five, yeah? Oh my god, uh, five. Here, five cabins, five. We have five to three. Here's five to two, five to four. Okay. And we have <laughs> five to three. Okay, so not not here then, okay. So much. You have a shower? Oh, yes. Inside. <laughs> Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. Good night. There we go. What? <laughs> Let's check it out. So apparently we have a bathroom inside of here. See? Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Toilet, shower, sink. Then we've got our bunk beds here. So that's all right, isn't it? It's so cozy. I love it. Oh my God, I will be dead tonight. Yeah, I'm super, super tired. Oh God. It's been a very, very long day and a long wait. So I think we're just gonna jump straight into bed. So, but anyway, that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. We will see you next time.